Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope everybody's out there being safe and everybody's okay. Um, for today's video, we are going to quickly take a look at this HP Spectre laptop or notebook. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to open this and change the NVMe out so you can go ahead and do your own upgrade and you know what you're getting yourself into. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and go do is go shut this down and stop all the tests that I'm doing. Let's see, it's gonna shut down. All right, everybody, I have to point out that this unit has actually already been worked on. It's been checked by somebody else, so the screws are missing, but I am going to show you the process either way. So the first thing you're gonna do is turn this uh, upside down like this, and the screws are actually gonna be under these uh, rubber pieces right here. Not the middle one, just the bottom and the top one. To get to it, you're gonna have to use something sharp, like a spudger like this, and you're gonna have to work your way Break away in the edge like this, like that, and it should be able to come up super easily. Just make sure that when you are removing this, uh, that you do get the sticky uh, stuff attached to the rubber piece. And also, do not pull very hard on this because it does stretch it out. So when you're doing this, just go ahead and kind of just ease it all the way down like this. All right, we'll put that off to the side. And of course, like I said, the screws are missing. Somebody already worked on this, but you'll, you'll actually have three screws. So it'll be one here, one here, and one here uh, to take those out very easily. Just work them out. Um, and then the same thing with the bottom piece. You're going to use a spudger, a metal spudger. Kind of work your way in the side here. And I, and I like to do the flat side not the round side, not, not on the side, because you can scratch the unit this way. So if you're doing it on the flat side, there's less possibility of scratching it. You're gonna do the same thing all the way down. And then for this one, there's gonna be a screw here and a screw here, and you're gonna remove those two screws. Again, uh, for the third time I'll mention, these screws are already missing because it's, it has been worked on before. Um, sadly, I, <laughs> the screws were not provided to me, so um, I'm, hopefully they still have those. Uh, and for this particular model, you do not pry at the front. The, the front has really big clips that insert this way. So we're gonna go ahead and get at the back. As you can see, part of the back's already uh, coming, coming apart, but if we pull down on the system like this a little bit on the back panel and then kind of slide your pry tool in there and you should be able to kind of grab it like that. So um, there's going to be hooks all the way around the computer that are grabbing onto the edges. Um, so what I like to do, since I already have this kind of open here, is I, since this is this is uh, this can bend just just a little bit, you're going to lift off the back like this, like that, and it'll kind of start popping out. And then it should be able to slide to the back so the front clips can actually come out. And you can probably see the clips there that I'm talking about, they're really big. Um, those actually slide in to the front. So you have to pull that back like this. There we go. So this is the inside of the uh, computer. Um, as you can see, it is, there's a gigantic battery here. Um, the NVMe is attached to here and it looks like the previous owner did not include a um, NVMe screw, so we'll, we'll have to replace that before we put this back together. Um, but there are the fans, and this is actually onboard RAM, so the RAM is actually here, um, but it is not upgradable. So make sure that you know that before buying this unit, you cannot upgrade the RAM on this. You are stuck with the 8 gigs that it comes with. Um, this is the Wi Fi adapter. Uh, make sure that you, uh, if you're opening your unit, that that little part right there is plugged in because that does come out. Um, but for this, it's easy as it's easy as taking out a screw. You're gonna just remove that screw that I wish I was there, that, that I wish was there, and then you're gonna lift up a little bit and then slide out out towards you like this. That's how you take it out. After you get your upgraded NVMe, you're just gonna go right in the way that the other one came out, just like that. And of course, you are going to put your screw in that you took out. Um, all right. Then the next step is easily to close this. So 
It's gonna be the front first with the big clips. So we're gonna slide those in like this. And then we're gonna work our way around, kind of slightly pushing inward on the edges so the clips can go in. And I go the other way around like this. Okay, we're good. Go around the back. And we're good. Of course, the next step here would be to input your three screws. We're gonna pretend that we did that because again, the screws were not provided to us. One, two, three. And don't forget the other two bottom ones right here. One and two. And of course, don't forget to put your rubber pieces back on. So. And these are actually a bit stretched out already. The previous person who took this apart, as you can see, uh, they did stretch it and you'll you'll be able to tell by the way it sits that there's little bulges here and there so that's kind of what happens if you stretch it out too long it's it's act, it can actually become bigger than the than where it's supposed to fit <laughs> i want to put the last one back on and you're done simple as that all right, everybody, that's, uh, there you have it. Uh, that's actually how you upgrade the only upgradable part of this computer. Now, keep in mind, this is the um, 13V111DX model, so this does not come with a touchscreen um, feature. There is another another model that does come with a touchscreen feature, so for that, you will you would have seen like a different ribbon, uh, an extra ribbon on the other side, but for this one, it is not. So well, I hope that that was helpful to uh, whoever was uh, looking to, on how to do this. Um, yes, I know the screws weren't there, sadly enough, um, they weren't provided, but we, we can at least see the process. And if this was helpful to you, uh, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you share. Uh, somebody out there might be looking for this before they try to uh, go into their system and touch anything. Because I know that if you are not familiar with something, it is kind of hard to convince yourself to open it up. And honestly, uh, I'd rather you not pay somebody whatever it is that they're charging you to just open this up because it's just, this is super simple to work on. So again, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one and take care.